Well, the first tour we went on, I was 16, and we went to Oxford Citizens to play rugby, and that's the first time I had a curry. And at that particular time, it would have been the last time, because they nearly killed me. They say that in order to know where you're going, it's often important to know where you've been. And with that in mind, we are here for the final part of our Vodafone's Lions Legacy Tour at Aberdeer Rugby Club in Wales, reminiscing on why we got into the game, what makes it so special as a youngster, and why it's so important for grassroots clubs at the moment to have a really healthy youth system. So welcome along, let's get stuck into it. I just love the magic sponge. The magic sponge is what it's all about for me. My old man would uh, coach the team, but the magic sponge was more, more on, a, on the top of his head, trying to calm him down than any of the kids. I was there in my scrum cap, I had my shoulder pads on, I had my cougar fingerless gloves. And then at the end, you're left with sausage and chips right at the, at, right at the end of the clubhouse. Take us through some of the stuff here, because there is some real history in the yes, cabinets yes. here. The youngsters congregate here, they have their own music in here, and they get a big ghetto blaster. But the initial thing as well is they can see the people who have gone before them, and that's a, that's a great way of looking at it. I think, I think the first one for me was my first real pair of rugby boots. It was a Christmas present, with lime green or stripes on them. For me, the the bit I loved most about it, and it was a bit of a penny drop moment, was actually the mud. Just got very stuck into the tackling. I was one of those kids who couldn't really do anything other than chop people at the knee. One good thing about it as well, the senior team come in here as well. You know, they've come from here, if you like, and they still come in here. Is it me or is it, is it quite obvious that the only shirt that's not in here is the English one? <laughs> oh, well, we must have missed that one. Oh, yeah, we can't the wall. Nothing has changed in the 40 years that I've been involved with it. That, that um, being part of a team, that's the type of thing that stays with you for life. So, yeah, great memories. It's where everyone learns the, the basic sort of key elements to being a rugby player, to what it's about, respecting the referee, discipline. Um, you know, you're taught to clear up after yourself, pick up the bags, pick up the games, pick up the, uh, the corner flags. It's, it's where everything starts to to what you see that happens at Twickenham or in Six Nations or on a British and Irish Lions tour. It all starts at a grassroots club for, for any player. Well, hopefully what this has shown you is just how important not only clubs are to the community, but how important the youth systems are to the clubs that right now need as much energy from the kids of today as they can possibly get. It's been a very, very special day here at Aberdeer Rugby Club and it's big thanks to Vodafone's Lions Legacy Tour for unlocking it for us and for enabling us to see just how special a club and a town this is. And hopefully the clubs around the country, here in Wales, England, Scotland and Ireland, will be feeling their youth systems thriving again very soon. Thank you for watching. 